Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Path Exile with me, Clint Gander the Gamer. Last time was a lot of talking, wasn't it? It turns out I even missed some talking when I killed Katava and I didn't go back to Act 5 Town to say, hey, what's everybody got to say? Well, we're not going to do more talking today, I'm going to cut down on the talking, let's get to questing. I did do a little bit of work off screen because I was a little bored waiting for my computer update, which I had to do for some reason. But anyways, I did get a level up. I did level up some gems. I did look at something weird and interesting, which I guess is okay. But right now I have taken off a uh, reservation of vitality. Which is why my life is a little bit higher than it was last time you saw it. Because I'm only recovering 30 life per second. Which, yeah, I know I don't have a lot of life exactly, but still, 30 per second is not good. I may look into doing something else. Well, we'll see what happens when I look a little bit harder, get a little farther in the game maybe, get some more skill points in my tree. Because as I believe I told you last time was I am going to be using my level up skill points for the foreseeable future to get to that skill tree energy shield node down by the sign in the middle of the, uh, in the, middle of the tree. Other than that, uh, hey, there's one monster remaining. Yes, we came to the Twilight Strand to kill all the drowned dead. All the drowned Doriathans that are walking, and once we kill them, they're dead for good. And there we go, they're all dead for good. Sure they are. And now we can talk to Lily. Lily, we completed your quest, and we're going to talk to you. Yay! Don't have a lot to say. So many drowned yeah. You freed them from their torment, and I'm sure they'd be grateful. Yes, no more torment. That little something extra I were talking about. Though the sea takes away, it gives back in greater measure. Hmm, greater measure, huh? What kind of measure? Oh, a book of respect. Yay. About, I've managed to do a bit of hunting on my own. Got a oh. full of baubles and trinkets here, which I managed to uh procure. Uh huh. Yeah, so Lily, as a vend is now a vendor, in the fact that she now trades all four acts worth of gems of every color, shape, support, active, the detonate mine, white skill gem as well. Yeah, she's a good vendor, and they're all at level one, so that's kind of good, kind of bad, kind of good. But how about the coast? Man, the coast, we haven't been here in forever. What's happened here nowadays? All those cannibals still running around, or... What What on earth is that? Whoa. Warhounds. Two commas warriors. What's going on here? Oh, there's still crabs. That's good to know. There's always good... It's always good to have crabs on a beach. You know, I've never actually seen a crab on a beach. But, however, as we can see from the monster archetype, just like the, the warriors in Calm's Dream, there are Karui spirit warriors here now at the beach. I wonder why. Hmm. Although Calm did did have a glorious conquest here on the on the first act of Rayclast. In his conquest of the Empire and traveling to the Beast. I wonder if some of his old gods. Or godliness or. What have you. Oh here's a unique monster. Chukamas the Loyal. Rehara. Hmm. A lot of stuff talking about Chukahama here now. To, now. Chukama's warrior, Chukama's loyal. I wonder if that could mean something about 
what kind of god we're going to be facing. Or what kind of god is in the area, I mean. Because... Ever since Oriath lost its mind, as Tarkley said, uh, Rayclass has been facing some troubles of its own. And the fact that things are now rising up from the deaths, such as this abyssal death, deaths right here. These monsters are coming out of this crack in the ground. These are no, this is known as an abyss, or abyssal death, or whatever, and... Basically, the point of this thing is it's going to spawn monsters from the abyss, and we're going to follow the crack and try to kill as many monsters along the crack as possible. And see if we can get some kind of reward for doing so. It's not a quest reward or anything, per se, but whoa, why am I frozen? <laughs> Look, if there's one thing you have to ask, it's why are you frozen? You know you might have a small, small, small problem. In movement. Yes, here we followed the crack all the way to this hole, this breach, in the death, in the, in the ground. Have we killed enough monsters? Monsters still spawn from it. Whoa, I just died. Well. Where did we go? Follow that crack over here, over this way? Always be, uh... I don't know, I'm trying to make a joke, you know? Because I'm talking about cracks here. Oh no, it's sealed up. So no, we, we did not get a reward for killing enough monsters from the breach. From the abyss. Too bad, so sad. They have some very interesting rewards from the monsters. From the from the abyss so I was kind of hopeful maybe to get a couple of them or so I don't really plan on using them for any of my like a build per se like I don't have a build in mind to use any of them but they can be very good stat sticks well we've made it to the waypoint we haven't found Nessa at all yet have we I wonder Tarkley said he followed her to the mud flats, but there's also the tidal island here we could do something with. Oh, you know what? I missed something. Oh well, less talking is okay for now. Last time was a lot of talking. I did not even anticipate that that was going to be that much talking. But here, a leather bound logbook. Really, they've betrayed you. You were trying to save them. Even now, floating prostrate upon a plank of wood, bathed in the dying embers of the evening sun. Huh, you hear a clear clatter of million tiny claws and sea tentacles rising up to you out of the deep. Really, the Brian King seems to have chosen him. For weeks he's heard the voices whispering of his return, gurgling of doom and slavery to us all. Wow. They cast him overboard, perhaps in the vain hope that his death, that in his death, none of his utterances would come true. You... Crab! I'm gonna make mincemeat out of you. Okay. He's not talking, talking, so we can get back to his, uh, where we left off. The morning sun peeked over the horizon, a pillar of green light rose from the waves, vindicating his darkest fears. The old god ascended from the depths and laid waste to his ship, and all aboard her, now that food or water shouldn't last a night. Huh. Caruso. Hmm. I wonder. Who could that have been? I don't recall exactly who that could have been if we've met them or heard of them before. 
or the lady in waiting that he captained. But, uh, it seems. Yes, the old gods are waking up. The old gods have been working on waking up for a few weeks now, at least. It's almost as if it was all preordained. Well, that was a unique monster, or Tide Caller, or whatever it was, or Riptide, or Roll Tide. Anyways, there's Bessel's manuscript right by the remains of his ship. So, now we can take Bestel's epic back to him. Of course, that would just lead to more talking. Do we want more talking right now? No, we don't want more talking right now, do we, witchy? Yeah. Less talking is good for the soul. More reading. Less talking. I'm an introvert. I like reading and writing. And power. Almighty oh, power. And the study of dead animals. Okay. Well, then, to the mudflats we go. Will we see any signs of Nessa? Will we find out anything about where these Tukahaman warrior spirits are from? Uh, you... You may have seen. We may have seen in passing. I haven't noticed, for sure. But the old weathered carvings, the old history of Calm and his conquests of the... Of the coast of Rayclass. I guess... What what I'm thinking in my head a little bit is that it's, um... Those weathered carvings were kind of like prayed to and... Worshipped to for and... Made in honor of Tukahama and the conquest of the Rayclassian coast. And because... They have acted as sort of a conduit... For these spirits to come to fruition here now that the gods are waking up because if we find one of these weather carvings or if we've seen one in passing the they're very like broken apart and look like they've been burnt to a crisp but they're still kind of on fire or molten or whatnot and this the gate is locked and appears to be missing an eye I mean, there's, it's just very interesting. It's cool looking. It's, as I would, I would put it in the interesting stuff playlist of my YouTube channel is what I would do. Well, there seems to be an eye missing from the gate. Is it the lustful left eye, the randy right eye? Could it even be the misogynistic third eye or something? When I'm ready and not before. Who knows? Who knows? I need more mana. And what if Nessa? Is she here? Will we find her? Can we find her? Nessa! Nessa, are you here, girl? Are you anywhere? Can you hear me? Wait! There's Nessa on the minimap! Look, Nessa, we found you. Well, first of all, to kind of go by to find Nessa, we have to fight this unique monster and her guards, the Forgotten Warriors, and the... If I can get find her. Where is she? I killed her already? Holy crap. Uh, the Forgotten Queen. We've just slain the Forgotten Queen and grabbed that Eye of Conquest. Nessa! Huh? And he wants me to be. Oh god. Is it. Please. Nessa, get out of the water. You sound distressed. Come on, get out of the water. Oh. Nessa's a mermaid. Nessa's the little mermaid. She wants to be part of your world. No, in fact, she wants... Oh, here we go. See? Look at this. This is a weather carving. It looks cool. Like the spirits burst right out of it. And the... And Nessa. She's a mermaid. The Brine King did this to her? I wonder if she's... 
She was talking about hearing mutterings and whatnot. Maybe she was talking about the Brian King has been talking to her in some fashion. Just like that captain of the lady in waiting. Find the exit to the Karui Fortress. There's a fortress here in the Fetid Pool? Well, yes, the Fetid Pool, now having been completely cleared and cleansed of all evilness and dysentery. I don't know why I want to say dysentery, but I said it. Ooh, peacock. Hello, little peahen. Peacock. Um, there, the spirits seem to have built a fortress here. Wow, I'm going fast. Whoa, what's this? Oh, just a skull head. I have a few of those. They, um... What does it do? Well, since, I, since I'm here, let me pick it up and show you what it does. Uh, gives minions extra block, lose, recover their life when they block. It basically uh, helps minions increase their block rate. And... Because, like, say you you use the Necromatic Aegis Keystone to give your minions, like your skeletons and zombies, your shield shield stats and whatnot, then they can start blocking. And there's even a bone offering skill that lets you that lets them block a lot, and basically lets your uh, minions become super tanks. But across this bridge is Tukahama's Keep. Whoa. Oh, he looked. Whoa, that's a big slam. Uh, that's a cool looking guy. Warrior spirit, warrior god. Uh, this is a crafting recipe right here. You can pick it up, up, up as soon as you walk in the door. He also summons this very large searing, searing uh, flame totem. It will follow you. So, because this arena is a circle, you can always kind of go exactly 180 degrees from it, and it will take its longest, take it the longest to travel to you. If you're 180 degrees from the point of the flame, uh, getting Tukama down far enough in health, he will summon these five totems to shield him with some energy beams. Other than that, he uses a lot of slam attacks, uh, summons totems. Basically, if you see a circle around you that's not one of your circles, like those two circles there, get out of there. If you're in front of Tukama and he w does a big wind-up with any kind of big wind-up, and whether it has a circle or not, get out of the way, because Tukama's about to hit you hard. And there goes Tukama. <laughs> I haven't played on this character in a couple of days. I forgot how uh, effective this character was <laughs> in the game. And Sin. Sin has come. What's up, Sin? Thief of Virtue. Oh. Oh, really? Oh. I don't want fire, no. No, don't want that. And choose wisely, for there is much more at stake here than your little hopes and dreams. Hey. Um. I want to make an Undertale reference. With hopes and dreams. But yes, for killing, for fighting the gods, Sin will grab some of their power from them and offer a little bit of it to us. I don't know why Katava's up here, just Katava's there, and... Well, we have these four big circles, and... Nine, or eight, tiny circles. Since we killed Tukama, and one of the circles is lit up saying, Hey, we can take this. Meaning, and we select it, and we... We get a little bit of power from the minor god, Tukama. And since this is specifically called to come a minor god, and it's a small circle, and there's four big circles, we can assume there are four major gods. Yay! Uh, one interesting thing I'm going to tell you right now is 
you can have one major god power and one minor god power. So it's just in case you're a little farther ahead of me in your let's play or whatnot, and if you're playing along with me, or if you're watching this and playing along beside me and, I don't know, trying to copy my build or whatnot, I hope you're having fun. Because this build melts. She really melts through the content. At least the axe. Let's see what happens when we get to maps, huh? Well, the bridge. This is a new area. With a waypoint on it, even. And yes, we are on a ridge overlooking some... I don't know exactly what to call it. I... Hey. <laughs> it's a campfire. <laughs> From Demon Souls, or whatnot, whatever you want to call them. Well, let us travel along the ridge. Ooh, a delirium mirror. I don't think we've seen one of these yet, but in this let's play, but this delirium mirror unleashes this fog. This delirious fog that unleashes more monsters and gives mon current monsters, current world monsters, uh, new abilities. Such as that fireball, I think that's coming up behind me. But it's very good because you see I have next to my life circle there. That little reward tablet that opened up, that little widget. Yes, uh as much as as much as I'm killing monsters, I'm getting reward points. Towards a reward. More monsters I kill, the better rewards I get. Oh boy, let's see what holy hell this monster has to unleash. So look at that. That that's the unique monster Fleetfoot or Fleetwork or Fleet Freak. And that uh this right here, this monster coming out of his head, is a delirious is a delirious um mirror monster ability that he's using because he's a unique monster. Basically unique and rares get that delirium effect, delirium power added to them. The, the mirror power added to them. Wow, and I've practically walked this entire ridge with this fog up. That's kind of hard to do sometimes. Especially since I'm not really going all that fast. And see that timer's coming down to the end of the fog. The fog will end. The fog will fade. The fog has faded. And I get a lot of rewards for how much I got. A cluster jewel. That is a reward unique to the Delaria Mirror. And otherwise, because it was offering weapons as a reward, I get a bunch of weapons here. Maybe I'll see if I like this crystal rod. Wand even. In place of my... Oh, wait. You know, actually. No, no. No, two more levels. Well, let's check out that crystal wand. It's a, a no-go, I think. So this cluster gem, Jewel, is actually a very specific jewel. Jewels are able to be socketed into your passive tree as kind of a sat stick. The cluster jewels are interesting because... They can be clustered into these large jewel sockets, whereas they cannot be allocated to basic jewel sockets. So the interesting thing is, because all the large jewel sockets are basically along the outside of the tree, whenever you put in a cluster jewel, it opens up a small branch, or large branch, or a medium branch, depending on the on the jewel that you use so the cluster jewel that you socket into the large jewel socket. So, oh, didn't mean to do that. So that can be very helpful. It's, like I said, a stat stick. It's basically a passive skill tree stat stick. Because this uh, large cluster jewel, it has 11 passive skill point, skill nodes. All the small passive skill nodes give me 12% increased physical damage. That's the implicit. And then also the um, transmutation, the modifier, 
at since it's a magic jewel socket, jewel socket, cluster jewel. It gives me uh, not the small passes also grants two plus two to maximum mana, and also one of the passive skill tree nodes will be furious salt, which it highlights over there on the left. And also because you see that implicit says two added passive skills are jewel sockets. That's because you can you can socket a large cluster jewel to a large jewel socket node. You can put two medium no cluster jewels into the passive node skill node sockets on large cluster jewel, and then they should have another socket available to them to where you can put a small small cluster jewel into the socket. Since I'm bored and sick and tired of saying socket all the time and not right now, I'm going to waypoint my way back to the bridge without opening a new instance. Because since I ran that Delirium Mirror event, I left a lot of things behind at the ground I probably want to pick up. Or some small monsters left to kill that I didn't quite kill on the first pass through. You know, because these events sometimes lead you to start running and running and running and whatever you're leaving behind, you're leaving it all behind and you have to come back for it later or get it at another time. I like you better this way. Yeah, Switchy, you like lots of things better different ways. Different than normal. Sometimes that's a good thing, isn't it, Witchy? Stand out, but fit in. No. <laughs> Witchy. Well, since we're just about back to the to the portal I opened, why don't we see where this ridge leads us? As that mirror's inner voice said, new paths lead to new nightmares. And we're trying to find our way to the prison, Axiom Prison, which looks kind of like, hey, we're there. We're to the lower prison already. Nice. We didn't have to go through Mervale's Caverns, which, uh, if we saw Nessa, they look to be flooded. Looks like we can't use that way anymore. Not without swimming, and I don't know if we want to go swimming in, this, in, this wa in these waters. But having made our way to the Axiom Prison one more time... Maybe we'll f we will find Chevron there once again, attending to her old duties. Goodbye. And as for talking to people, you see Nessa. yes, we talked to Nessa. Well, that's more than I dared hope for. Truth be told. Oh, you're happy. Change. She's going yeah, to she's a mermaid. The Brine King has put on her. She's cursed. I know it. Yes, I'm sure it can be broken. Hmm, really? My reckoning, this king's not the sort to venture far from his briny bed. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he's down on the water somewhere. And yes, we've killed a Karubi war god. Can you kill a god? We have, so we have. <laughs> begin to understand what you've just done. Vestal will be able to put our gratitude into words more fitting of a legend. Me, I'll work with what I know. A solid reward for a damn fine deed. Yes, it was a f damn fine deed, wasn't it? Yes, he's going to give us a passive skill book for killing the Kuri war god Tukama. Because who knows, Tukama may have turned his sights onto Lion's Eye the way Calm did. What about Chevron? Hey, good. Oh no. Some other death scorning creature I've never heard of, but she's up oh, good. We have found her away with her black arts and twisting nature around her bony old, yeah, bony old fingers, honestly, nasty fingers. Why she's come back. Yeah, we don't care why she's back either. She's a boil that needs lancing before the, yeah, let us lance her. Uh, don't say that again, Andrew. 
Don't say you want to lance women. Oh, yes, yes. yes, you're epic. We have returned it. <laughs> you know, this is just a little bit too much right now. We'll come back to that at some other time. What do you have to say about Chevron? Booms of holy, unholy intonation. Sounds like thunder. Huh. As a poet, I have nothing against a little creativity. Yet while I might mold words and wonder, Chevron's art tends towards the visceral, flesh, bone, and soul. Ugh. Artistic pursuit is the loftiest of calling, but in this instance... Rigorous criticism, yes. Let us go criticize her. And what about Nessa? Oh, it's cruel to make jests of an addled mind. Aww. She's not a cod, she's a mermaid. That said, you've never been wrong before. So yeah, we're never wrong. This fanciful tale in its fishy we're never wrong. Ever. She talked of the Brine King, did she? Yeah. Now there's a name what can trouble the breaches of even the most jaded of poets. Though Mervale might be dead, the sea still has its seductive songs. And this time it's a big, briny baritone stewing away. Oh, baritone. Um, anyways, do I have anything to sell? Yes, I have these two things to sell. A book to use. Use my book. Can't use my book in shop. Uh, one more thing before I go. I want to level up. And let me show off what I want to do with my skilled points. I got one skill point from a book, so I'll be using it towards something I want to pick up. And I'll have two points from leveling up. So I'll use those two points towards the moving towards the center no energy shield node branch yada yada. Well, if you're following along with me, if you like that sort of thing, if, or if you're enjoying having, enjoying watching me build my tree out, I believe I will be taking with my. One skill point. Yeah, I'm gonna take that, uh... There's a node over by the shadow. Where he does... What's it called? What is it called? Hold on, don't kill me, bro. There we go. Level up. It's this node here. Bangs the Viper. More chaos damage. More movement speed. More physical damage. Yay! And, more importantly, more strength. Yay, yay, yay. Then, like I said, two more points down here. Yay, we're almost into the tree tree branch itself. I honestly think I want to do something weird and not just go right for this right away, but I want to go down here to this. This node. Because this one will be easy to get to, of course. But, I just want to use the extra time and levels to get to this one first. It will increase my damage and my mana and intelligence, of course, whereas this one would increase my energy shield. But because I want both of them, I just want to go to the, for this one first. Instead of going the quick, easy, take these two first. So I'll take this one first. And anyways, everyone, hey, yay, now I can level up some more gems. Until next time, everyone, we will find the spirit of Chevron of Umbra in her tower in the prison, and we will kill her next time on Let's Play Path of Exile with me, Eclectic Andrew, and our good little witchy friend here, Eclectic Witch, Andrew Witch. Until next time, take care of yourselves and have fun, everyone. Bye-bye.